Hey friends and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kate. This is a motherhood channel specifically for Christian mamas, foster and adoptive mamas, um, anyone wanting to grow their faith. I just really hope to inspire people to live a kingdom driven life. My channel has kind of morphed from like motherhood and beauty to like kind of only foster care, but at the end of the day, I just hope that my channel points people to Jesus and yeah, that's what my community here is all about. So if you want to be a part of that, I would love to have you subscribe and join us. So today I thought I would do a little bit of a different video. I was packing and I came across my Bible study books and if you guys have been around for any period of time, I went on this minimalism journey. I've gotten rid of like so many things. I got rid of all of the books because I'm just not somebody who reads a book twice. I've transferred to Kindle. I only buy books on Kindle now. But there are some old Bible study books, or not old, but Bible study books I've done throughout the years, and it's the only book that still come into my house because through my church I have to buy the actual book. I can't get it on Kindle when I do the different ones through my church. So I wanted to go through some Bible study books and some just some books that were really impactful for me as a woman of faith, and I thought I would share it with you. So I don't know where to start. Maybe I should start at like my very first Bible study. Oh, this just makes me want to do them again. <laughs> So Priscilla Shire has got to be one of my favorite Bible teachers, although I have recently discovered, not recently, but I've been really into Jen Wilkins studies lately. I just love Jen Wilkins. So Priscilla Shire, Jen Wilkins, Kelly Minter, and Beth Moore are probably my four favorite female Bible study teachers. Um, so I think the very first one I did, a, no, it wasn't, hold on. I apologize, it's garbage day at my house today. <laughs> Just said that in the last video I filmed because I'm trying to film a couple here for you guys, but I'm trying, I don't know which was the first that I started with my church. I have done other ones. It wasn't until I came to the church in the city I live now. We've been coming to this church since 24, so six years now. Um, so six years ago, this is like six years of Bible studies and I don't have the actual physical book for all of them, but I'm going to talk about some of those too. So. I think the very first one I did was this discerning the voice of God, which is a new believer or someone who didn't really know how to listen to God's voice was super helpful. And this is where I first discovered Priscilla Shire and just fell in love with the way she teaches. She's just like such a light. I want to go back and do this now that I've grown a lot in my faith walk, but I highly recommend this one, discerning the voice of God by Priscilla Shire. Maybe I'll just talk about some of my other Priscilla Shire ones. The next one, which I loved also was the armor of God. That was a fabulous study. And then I think I have one more here from her. And then the other Priscilla Shire one I did was Gideon, which I also really, really loved. So definitely, if you're looking for a Bible study, check out Priscilla Shire. She's got some phenomenal ones. Most of these Bible studies come along with a video. Oh my goodness, that garbage truck is so loud, so I'm going to talk a little louder because I don't want to stop filming because babies are about to be up from nap. The next study I loved, loved, because this is my favorite book of the Bible, and I don't think it was my favorite book in the Bible until I really like dug in and did the study. Beth Moore just has such a fun way of doing Bible studies, but she doesn't, like it's not fluffy. It's still very, very, like there's a lot of information to pull out of here. And she kind of, in this one, I remember she talked about, you can do it in five levels of participation. Just watch the videos. Level two would be complete the homework and watch the videos. Level three would be, you know, don't do those two things plus hand rank James. Level four would be do that plus to read the articles. So her daughter actually contributed articles to each each week. And then with the fifth level being to memorize James as well. So I think I got up to level four. I did not memorize James. But James is my favorite book of the Bible because it's just so much about actions in your faith. And something I struggle with and I try hard really not to be judgmental about, but it's something that bubbles up in me is people that like proclaim faith, but you look at them and they're living. The way they live doesn't really reflect that they believe in Jesus. And I'm, there was certainly a period in my life where what I believed and how I lived didn't reflect that I love Jesus. So I I love James because it's really convicting about that. And I think it, this is when the, the study came out where I think I was already a foster parent, but I was just, the need became so just like renewed in my eyes that like Christians are called to care for orphans and widows and like, more Christians need to be involved in foster care. And this is not to like toot my own horn and say, oh, this is why you're doing it. But I just love this because our works should reflect our heart. It's not that we get saved by what we do. That's not the type of theology I'm trying to spread at all. That is not true. You know, the only way to heaven is through Jesus. But our actions 
acts should reflect our works and people should know by what we do that we follow Jesus, if that makes sense. Um, so I love this one. I'm going to go back and do all of these because now that I have a better understanding and just have spiritually matured, um, I think, you know, God can speak to me again through these where I was at then and where I'm at now. So I'm going to go back definitely through these four because I love Priscilla Shire and I loved this James study. I think the next one I did was Hosea from Jen Roth, Jennifer Rothschild. Um, to be honest, I didn't love this one as much. I really loved the content, but I didn't like the layout of it, but some people might like this layout. So for example, the reason I didn't was there'd be a question and then like in the paragraph right under the question, the exact answer was in there. So you didn't really have to do any of your own digging. So it's very good if you're kind of new to Bible studies, um, especially Old Testament stuff. So it's not that I didn't enjoy the study, I just didn't enjoy the format of the book because I felt like, oh, I don't have to actually dig through this and the answer's right there staring at me. Where some of the books, especially Jen Wilkins' books, they, like, you have to do so much of your own work. And I just, I don't know, I like to be challenged more. So I enjoyed the content of the study and I definitely learned a lot, but I just didn't enjoy the way it was laid out. The next one I did, and honestly, I didn't love this study. Um, and maybe I should give it another chance because I feel like this was a really busy time in my life and I didn't do a lot of the homework. But it's called uh, Interior Design, 10 Elements of Biblical Womanhood by Mary Cassine, Cassine, Cassian and Nancy Lee DeMoss. Um, and the formats of the videos was kind of like they're chit-chatting back and forth. I don't know. I just, I remember I didn't do a ton of this homework and um, I'm looking back and like, yeah, I didn't love this study. but. I don't know what was going on in my life then, but that's probably why. It's probably very good because it does look like there's a lot of good information in here. So this is one I'm going to give another shot at, but I, I can't highly recommend it to you because I just didn't give it enough of a chance now that I'm looking back through it. This one I loved, the All Things New by Kelly Minter. And I just love Kelly Minter. There's a lot of practical application in her Bible studies. So I like her for different or different reason than I like Jen Wilkin, for example. but. I have a lot of little notes, especially this is on 2 Corinthians, yeah, 2 Corinthians, and I have so many notes in my Bible, I'll show you guys. Doing this study actually is when I got this new Bible, and I decided, because before I would underline things and highlight things and not mark my Bible up, but when I started this study is when I really started to become a Bible marker in writing in the journal, so just write little things, for example, that I've learned through various studies. Um, oh my goodness, it's hard to hold this, it's heavy. But you can see how many notes are in there and little things um, that I learned through doing a deep dive study into the various books of the Bible. But yeah, that's the first study I did of hers. And I've just recently done two more that I love. Um, but we'll get to those in a second. And then I have a first Peter one from Jen Wilkin. I'm not sure where it is. Um, but I feel like I wasn't spiritually mature enough to get into that. But I'm going to go back and do that study again. Hi, Editing Kate here. I just wanted to pop on to say, check out this one. It was phenomenal. I learned so much. I loved it. I loved her teaching style. Such a great book. And then these are three books. The Bible Experience. I, my husband did this first. I think they actually did this in men's group. And I didn't watch the videos because I just was like, it's so violent. Like, it's just so violent. I, I wasn't really into like the Old Testament stuff but I watched the videos more recently and they're so good because they do really help you understand things especially when you've gone through various Bible studies and you know the stories better like I remember the story about Lot's wife turning to a pillar of salt and you know seeing that happen in the video just whenever you're looking at any sort of media done on the Bible you have to be very discerning but I just found it was really good. So there's a Bible study, the book that goes along with it. If you don't know anything about the Bible and you want to go and you're okay with violence, because it was violent times in the Bible. Watched it more recently and I actually really enjoyed it. So um, that's the Bible, the 30 day experience. And then this one, 10 Who Changed the World is about missionaries. I think this is a really cool book. I'm super interested in missions. So if you have any recommendations, you can't leave me a comment, but you know, send me an email if you know any good books, because I'm really reading a lot, a lot about missionaries right now. And I just wanted to mention this book, The Forward is done by David Platt, and I really like David Platt. Um, I've read a lot of his books. So anyways, highly recommend this book. And then this one my husband has read, but I have not read it yet. And this is The Insanity of Obedience, but my husband said it's good. There is The Insanity of God, I believe is the first one, the same author, Nick Ripkin. So I'm going to go and read The Insanity of Obedience because if God has shown me anything in the past little bit is that he 
takes care of me, he's faithful, and when I'm, he just wants us to be obedient. So I just want to be more obedient to his word and his calling on my life. I try to be obedient, but you know, got a sinner's heart just like all of us. So I, I just, I'm really excited to read this. So I thought I would mention it because this is next on my book to read. Next, since becoming a minimalist, everything else is now on the iPad or on my Kindle. My Kindle is dead right now, um, but that more just has books. So Lifeway, actually, at the beginning of coronavirus, I have done so many Bible studies since coronavirus started because, you know, what else am I going to do right now? And, oops, that's the wrong one. So Lifeway actually put out a bunch of their Bible studies. The ebooks were only five bucks and you could get the uh, videos for free. So they have this app, which doesn't work all the time. Lifeway, you need to update it. But they have this app called Word Search. Yeah, Word Search. I'll show you up close here you can get ebooks through this app. So uh, right before COVID hit with my church, we were doing Jen Wilkin and I had done the first Peter of Jen Wilkin, but again, I just don't think I was spiritually mature to get a lot out of it. I'm going to go back and do it because knowing what I know about her now, the way she teaches the Bible, like I just really admire her knowledge and she makes you think for yourself and allows time for the Holy Spirit to speak to you and it's not just giving you answers. So I really like her. So I had heard about her book, Women, Women of the Word. So after doing that study, I read Women of the Word a little while ago. Just phenomenal. I just, she's got a really great perspective that God, you know, God wants us to love him with our mind, body, soul, not somebody else's, not through Kelly Minter, through Beth Moore, through her, but with our own. So we need to be seeking. We need to be leaving space for the Holy Spirit to speak to us. Um, I just really loved the way she laid out that information. I had never heard it that way. And I have just learned so much more since doing her study. So I've kind of been on a Jen Wilkin kick. Started with First Peter. Then I read Women of the Word. Then we did God of Covenant, which is Genesis oh, 6. I can't remember exactly. All the second half of Genesis and Abraham's story and God's covenant. Oh, it was so, so good. So when we couldn't meet the Bible study in my church, so I go to a Thursday morning Bible study with like 100 women. It's awesome. I go to a pretty big church. So I run a table with one of my really great friends and then my other like two bestest friends, or three, they're all at the other table. Two of them run it. So... I just love, like, I've got four women in my life now. There's five of us and we're just so on the same page about so many things and they all encourage me to grow and they're all just really strong, you know, biblically based friends is the best way to explain them. They're just encouraging and convict me and they'll call me out on things if I need it and they're just awesome. Anyways, so we decided with kind of to combine some of the tables. I had a really, really great group of table and my mentor happened to be at their table. So we did, I think it started with 12, but I think there was only seven of us by the time it kind of petered off, seven or eight of us. We did God of Creation. So I, you know, even something like, you look at the creation story and to me, it's like, yeah, I've heard that so many times. I've heard the story of Noah like so many times. Sorry, my battery just died. Anyway, so you read the story of Noah. It just seems so basic, the stories, like you've heard them before. And then you do a study like God of Creation with Jen Wilkin and you're like pulling out things that you never knew and you never saw. And like, let me show you my Bible. It's like, sorry, I do some Bible journaling. Um, watercolor sometime, but like just how many notes like on this page I just there was so much information and that's only about chapter 2 of Genesis like there's just so much information in here that she just helps pull out and just through other commentaries like so my Genesis I want my Bibles to be like I want to leave a Bible for each of my children and this one's going to be Rosie's because I got this kind of in the thick of we thought we were losing her. Um, you know, I, I thought I would start with Lilia first, but there's just so much about Rosie in here and God's faithfulness about her because I write little praises and prayers and things in it. Anyways, but I want a Bible for each of my kids to have. I think that's the most precious thing that I can pass down to them and just little remarks and things that I've learned along the way. Anyways, so God of creation. Phenomenal. I loved it. Uh, we just finished, we actually have our very last one on Thursday night. I'm not sure when this video is going out, but today is Tuesday. So we actually have our very last one and I'm sad to see it done. Um, but she does have another few that I haven't done yet. So I'm going to probably look into those. I also wanted to tell you the other ones that I did. I don't, I don't think it would, oh, actually I have a matte screen protector on here. So you might be able to see. So I did the faithful Bible study or sorry, Bible study ebook. I did one called The Faithful, and that has Beth Moore, Jennifer Rothschild, Kelly Minter, Priscilla Shire was in there too, um, and then Lisa Harper 
which I had never done one of her studies before. But that was really good. A lot of content I really knew and understood um, and stuff I had seen like Priscilla Shires and Kelly Minters I had actually already seen. But that was a good study. I enjoyed that. And then Finding God Faithful by Kelly Minter was really good as well. And now... Because the videos are free till June 18th. I'm sorry, because by the time you're seeing this, the videos are probably not going to be free anymore. But I'm doing No Other Gods, just the video study by Kelly Minter, which is about, you know, idols and all the things we put before God as idols. It's just been a really great one as well. There's two other ones I wanted to mention that I've done the videos for, um, again, just over this COVID time, is Job by Lisa Harper. And to be honest, I didn't love that one. She um, brings a lot of like life experience. She has adopted, so I like some of that really relates to me, but she brings a lot of life experience, not as much Bible, which is just something I struggle with because just at my point in my Christian walk, it's just, I, I want a little bit more than that. So I didn't find like I got a lot from it. It was nice to hear her testimony and she brings some guests on and stuff. And if you're a newer Christian, you would probably like it or it's on Job, right? So Job is... God's faithful servant who every, you know, all these horrible things happened to him and then God restored him and it was like a t Satan was testing Job's faithfulness to God. Anyways, and God allowed it to happen. It's a really good story, but it's just not the way I prefer to learn. So it was good to watch the videos, but I don't know, there was probably more content in the ebook. I didn't do the actual ebook of this one. And then Raised Together by Gloria Furman. And I read a book, I can't think of the title now, but it's on motherhood from Gloria Furman. And I really enjoyed it. So I thought I would really enjoy the study. And again, I only did the videos, not the ebook. So I enjoyed it, but it wasn't like, I love it. Like I would recommend it to everybody kind of thing. So yeah, I just wanted to give you some Bible studies that I've done. There's more and there's more books that I could recommend. But if you aren't familiar with Bible study. It is, to me, it's just the best way to grow in your relationship with the Lord. It's the best way for the Lord to speak with you. You actually open your Bible and do stuff. You know, don't just read the things on the YouVersion app. That's great in a pinch and, you know, sometimes that's, in my busy day, that's all I can get to, but I really try to make God a priority and every morning start with my Bible and actually doing some sort of Bible study. I have this Faithful Motherhood journal that I created. Um, it's on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. Um, and this is like a journal and a Bible study all in one. I'm not going to open it because there's very personal things in there. This is just where like I talk to God through, but there's Bible study sheets and a place for sermon notes and like um, a prayer section in the back. So I get this out and I get my Bible and I'm usually doing one Bible study along with it. And I try to spend like a, at least 45 minutes, if not longer. And sometimes I can spend two hours. Like it depends on how early I wake up. But being disciplined to wake up early is the only way that I can get that in and sometimes this doesn't happen and I'm sipping my coffee and you know breaking up kids fights and trying to do this at the top uh, you know along with my kids and I think God gra gives grace for that season of motherhood but to me it's just a priority to try to wake up early before my kids and get this in so I'm just getting my heart right for the day um, but yeah I just hope this encourages you and maybe gave you some resources that you could check out um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll do one maybe more based on like Christian books that I've read that I would recommend. Anyways, I appreciate you guys being here so much. The babies are up from the nap. I can hear Rosie calling for me, so I better end it here. But thank you so much for being here. Like this video, subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you be a part of the Love Mother community and I will see you on the next video. And I'm sorry, I hope this wasn't too fast. I usually write a lot more down and kind of follow like notes I've done, but you know, my last couple videos, I just kind of wanted to wing it, but I know I talk really fast when I just wing it. So I apologize if this was too fast. Thankfully, you can slow me down on YouTube if you need to. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.